Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Max Render Hot Tips. My name is James Conner and I'm the Max Render Mentor of the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. In today's Max Render Hot Tip, I'll be looking at creating an animation using Maxwell Multilight. Here's the Maxwell image that I'll be using in today's example. This image was actually made for an earlier Maxwell Render Hot Tip, which was how to import Multilight settings. And down here in the Multilight window, as well as the Multilight sliders, I've also got this keyframe sequencer, and I can use this to create an animation from the one Maxwell render image that I've rendered. To make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to enable auto keying so that I don't have to manually enter keyframes myself. This is under options, edit, and auto key. Now what I can do is move my slider along, and then adjust the lights in my scene. Move my slider along, adjust another light, and so on. And of course my main image won't update unless I click refresh, but my little preview window will. So I can click this button to go back to the beginning of the animation, and then I can play the animation. If I need more frames, this is where I would enter that, but in fact in this case I want fewer frames. To actually save this sequence, I need to go to Options, File, Save Sequence, and then choose where I'd like to save the sequence as well as what file type, select the resolution, the bit depth, if my chosen file type supports that, and whether or not to separate the lights out into individual files. After that, you can use whatever application you like to turn the individual images into an animation. Personally, I use QuickTime 7 Pro, and that's it. That's how to turn one multi-light image that you've rendered in Maxwell Render into an animation. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions or suggestions, email me at maxwellrenderbrightcbt at gmail.com or tweet me at jcolman underscore design. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon.